We have some supplies here. We have two muslin wraps. We have some indicator tape, and we have a Sharpie to write with. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is set out our first wrap. So we're going to open it up and place it in a diamond shape on the table so that two of the points are towards and away from us and two of the points are laterally. So we have 12 o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock, and nine o'clock. Then we're gonna take our surgical instruments here, which are in a tray, and we're gonna put our tray in the center of our wrap. The bottom of our tray, we're gonna put an absorbable paper towel so that it covers the bottom of our tray. And then we're going to organize our instruments. Um, so I'm gonna do my first layer here and then I'll show you what it looks like. instrument over here. My instrument count was off. Okay, so I'm going to set up my bottom row, making sure that none of my ratchets are clamped so that they're all open and easily accessible. All right, I'll show you my first layer here. So everything is laid out evenly, um, things are oriented in the same direction, and they're all easy to grab, and all of the ratchets are open. Okay. So then we're gonna do our next layer. So a lot of these instruments are paired, so we're gonna pair up sizes of our instruments here. And again, we want to make sure all of our ratchets are open for instruments that are going into our pack. So here's our next layer. So we have all of our instruments still oriented the same way. The curves are all facing down um, and all of our ratchets are open. So our last layer with towel clamps here. Again, we're going to make sure our ratchets are open. Okay, so now our towel clamps are in. Um, they are all facing the same. They're facing opposite directions of each other so that all the handles fit in and they're all curved with their ends down. And then we're going to put our... Rotate that a little bit more. We're going to put our surgical drape on top and then we're going to fold this in. So we're gonna start with the corner closest to us. Uh, before we do that, we're gonna put our uh, indicator strip in our um, surgery pack. So now we're gonna fold our corner in and snug it up and dog flap our edge. And then we're going to do our three o'clock and nine o'clock positions as well. Same thing, we're going to fold these over, snug up our pack inside, and dog ear our corners. And then our last one is our flap that's away from us. I'm just gonna rotate this so it's easier to tuck into my little envelope that I've made here. I'm going to pull everything snug again, pull this flap across, 
straighten everything out and tuck this into my little envelope so I have a flap sticking out that I can grab onto. Now we're going to do the same thing with our second wrap. So we're going to open this up and lay it out in our diamond pattern. Put our pack in the center of it. Start with the edge closest to us, the six o'clock position flap. Tighten it up as we go to each new corner. Make a pull tab on each of them. And then our last corner, we're going to turn around again and tuck into our envelope. So we're going to snug this up. Pull this over. And tuck into our envelope, leaving our tail out like this. So now we're going to put our indicator, our steep indicator tape on here. tape uh, what type of pack this is and this is the black general surgery pack uh, packed by AP that's me today September 8th 2019 so this is ready to go into our autoclave. I hope you can see the indicator tape lines on here. These will turn black once our pack has been sterilized. So that's the end of our task.